What's going on today, guys? We're in the garage, and today is Tech Tip Tuesday. And we're going to take a minute out to show you how to diagnose what cylinder is missing on your older vehicle. Now, keep in mind, what I'm about ready to show you, you can try this with just about anything. I mean, even a snowmobile, okay? What I like to do first is cut the end off the test light and put on a good alligator clip. I mean, how many times you guys run underneath the dash and that little cheap clip falls off and you're under plugging in wires and nothing's happening and it's just a mess. So you can get these at just about any auto parts store, put it on, save you a lot of headaches later and get a test light with a good wall thickness. That helps, trust me. Otherwise you'll be running around the shop with your hair standing up and it kind of hurts a little bit, okay? First thing you want to do, take your alligator clip, you're going to hook it direct to the negative side of the battery, okay? And you come around with the car running and you're going to poke through the top of the spark plug wire boot and ground out at the distributor cap with the test light. When you do that, you're going to hear the motor start shaking and missing even more, okay? You want to go around each cylinder until you find the one that doesn't change the RPMs or the tune or the rough idle of the engine. That's a good indication that that's the cylinder you want to focus on. Now, granted, it could be a bad plug wire, it could be a bad spark plug, but you know what, it could be a burnt valve too. Who knows what it can be, but at least this will get you down to the right cylinder when you got eight to choose from and you're not chasing your tail. This is a lot easier than pulling off a plug wire and starting the car and then going, oh, I think that tune changed, but maybe it didn't. Let's try another cylinder. This is fast, it's quick, and it's safe. But I don't recommend doing this on high energy ignition of today's new cars. You know, that's kind of a no-no. A lot of charge comes through that wire and it might jump. The older stuff like points or maybe HEI, it seems to be pretty good. Old timers been doing this for years, so you young guys take this with you. It's a great tip, saves a whole lot of time. If you guys like what I gotta say, subscribe to my page, In the Garage. I appreciate it. Peace out, boys.